Okay, this is the key for written homework one. So it reads, let f of x be this exponential function. Find the values of p and r so that f has a tangent line at 2, 5 of slope 3. So a sketch of what's going on. is there is an exponential function and at 2.2 the function evaluates to 5 so that that statement right there is saying that f of 2 is 5. <clears throat> Furthermore, we know that there's a tangent line there. And this tangent line has slope 2. No, slope 3. Therefore, we know that the derivative evaluated at 2 is 3. <clears throat> so as a result, from the statement of the question, we know that f of x is p e to rx. We know that when we plug in 2, we're supposed to get 5. And when we plug in 2 to the derivative, we're supposed to get 3. Let's compute the derivative. So p is just a constant, so that's p, and then the derivative of the exponential is the exponential again, and then we'll get the derivative of rx for the chain rule. So now let's use this piece of information and plug it into here. And let's use this piece of information and plug it into here. So 5 is what you get when you plug in 2 into this. So that's p e to 2r. And 3 is what you get when you plug 2 into this for x. So that's p e to 2r multiplied by r. And now notice that both sides have p e to 2r in them. So I'll divide this line by this line to obtain that 3 over 5 is p e to 2 r multiplied by r divided by p e to 2 r. So the p's and the e to the r's cancel, e to 2 r's cancel. So this is 3 fifths is equal to r. As a result, We now know that f of x is p e uh, to 3 fifths x.
So we were told to find P and R. We have found P, so we're halfway done. So now, from this position, we can use either one of these pieces of information. Either one of these pieces of information. So I'll use the green one. We know that when we plug in 2, we're supposed to get 5. So 5 is P e to 3 fifths multiplied by 2. So 5 is P e to 6 fifths. So dividing both sides by e to 6 fifths, that would be 5 e to negative 6 fifths is P. So now we've determined P. And as a result, f of x is 5 e to negative 6 fifths e to 3 fifths r. And then we can combine those exponents. To conclude, 5e exponential of 3 fifths r minus 6 fifths. And that's the answer to the exercise.